Hello everybody, welcome back to another free claim episode. Yeah, it's a free claim episode. Epic Games, you got Witchet, Witchet here. It's a action game, I guess. Uh, multiplayer hide and seek, yeah. Doesn't look interesting to me. But yeah, free claim, Halloween, Halloween free claim. But you know, it's November November 1st by the time you watch this, so zero interest in this game. Now this one looks possibly good, but also possibly scary. Right, like ghosts and stuff. Yeah, really freaky looking. But Ghostwire Tokyo. It's an action adventure game. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not something I play right away. I I try it out maybe in like the future when I run out of games to play, you know, along with other scary games like Control and Bioshock that I have free claims, right? So the Epic Game Epic Games two two uh two games I'm not really interested in. I mean, this is probably a good game. I'm just a little scared, you know. <laughs> then Epic, I mean, Epic Amazon Prime free games. All right. So I think I have this already from Epic, but I'm not sure. I have at least one of them. So we got A Plague Tale Innocence. Maybe I should actually try it, you know, since... Uh, I don't know if I have which one I have on Epic, but I know they gave away at least one of these games on Epic. So, yeah. So now I have it on GOG as well. Maybe I'll give it a shot. What kind of game is it? It's an adventure game. There's rats everywhere. They eat everyone. And, you know, actually, I did get a Fanatical bundle that had Dishonored in it. And I tried it a little bit, and it has the same thing with the rats eat with the plague and the rats, and they're eating all the corpses, and they eat you as well if you don't, uh, if you're not careful. But uh, it's a stealth game. Well, you you can just you know go around you know causing chaos, which is what I do because I'm bad at stealth. So I'll probably get a bad ending, but whatever. All right, so definitely maybe I'll give it a sh give this a shot during the weekend. You know, I got the free claim months ago. I'm starting to play the free claims more often now. Death's Door. This looks... Mm. I mean, it looks pretty. It's very cinematic and anime-ish. So it says it's a role-playing game, RPG, hack and slash... Uh, in the adventure game so it might actually be okay something like Legend of Zelda maybe so I'll I'll definitely try to give this a shot as well I've been playing trying a lot of the games lately and some of them are okay I did try the pumpkin jack from Amazon free claim and it's pretty it's pretty fun it's a 3d platformer Scorn. This I think this is a boomer shooter. It certainly looks like it definitely is a shooter. It's a horror shooter. Wow, that's really creepy looking. That looks like alien hive or something. It says adventure indie puzzle shooter. Non-linear faction. There's puzzle and stuff. So maybe it's not a boomer shooter. Who knows? Is it interconnected region? So is it a Metroidvania first person shooter? And you have to manage your inventory and management? It's not a hard horror survival game, is it? But yeah. I'll probably right. So of these of this week's reclaims, I mean I don't care about the epic ones, but for Amazon Prime ones, I'll probably try out I'll probably try out yeah, these three. I already have Coromon. Coromon! I actually have this on Steam. I got the indie.io bundle that gave me a whole bunch of their games. Not gave me, but you know, 
I bought a whole bunch of generic games. This is like the Pokemon game puzzle role playing, but it doesn't mention the fact that you're taming monsters, capturing monsters, and training them to battle and stuff. I played it a little bit. It does definitely give me Pokemon vibes. It even looks like Pokemon. Although I'm not familiar with any of their uh, monsters, I keep <laughs> I was about to say Pokemon. So that is that's the only turn off. It's like all the it's like the newer Pokemon games. There's like a thousand Pokemon now, and like I only know the first, you know, 151. That's the or I guess 152 with Mewtwo. Wait, is Mewtwo number 51 or? Mew is a number 50, 150, or is that Dragonite? I don't even remember. I think Dragonite is 150, and then Mew is 151, and then Mewtwo is 152. And you can only capture Mew, like the glitch or something, and, and there's also Missing Go. Yeah, but Mewtwo, they did have it in the game, but yeah. And Mew was kind of useless, I think. It just had, like, Transform and maybe some other spell. It's like, yeah. So if they ever release Pokemon on Steam, um, I'll probably get all of them. <laughs> but at the very least, no, probably just the Gen One ones. Like, like I want to get Fire Pokemon, Fire, uh, Fire Red, Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee or one of them. But you know, Nintendo Switch is expensive, and the games they never drop in price. Anyway, last but not least, Haunted Hotel Personal Nightmare CE. I think this is a click adventure game. Yeah, zero interest in this. So, this this week's Amazon Prime games, this is the one that I'm not interested in. But some people might like this. Oh my goodness, and it's creepy too, horror game. I mean, I used to play these uh, click adventure games in the past. But I don't like them anymore. Alright, so yeah. I already tried Coromon, it's okay, and I'll... I'll try to check out these games as well. And then on GOG, we got another click adventure game, Return of the Phantom. Uh, by the time you're watching this, you'll only have like one day. Uh, yeah, probably like one day. Or, or not even. <laughs> like, right, one day in a few hours, right? Because, you know, I'm recording this in advance. By the time you watch this, you only have a day and a little bit to watch. Uh, Reclaim this. You know, click adventure game. Oh my god, no, stop. Don't copyright claim me. It's on GOG. And then this one, a Steam game, Unloved. It's free. You just have to add to the cart and subscribe to the newsletter. And I did end up getting, uh, there was a, when I got, I when I claimed this, there was a bundle that was just ending the special special edition ones where i got um i'm trying to remember. oh wolfenstein the two pack the the new order and old blood i tried them both uh pretty fun games uh definitely yeah they're like alternate or uh, alternative history type of game so that's interesting uh yeah so it's kind of, yeah, it's not exactly a historical shooter. Anyway, this game, it's, and I forgot what was the other one that I got with that bundle, but it was some, oh, Dishonored. Yeah, <laughs> I literally was talking about it before. Yeah, both, both, all three of the games pretty good, pretty fun. Right, uh, because it, it does, when you claim it, it does give you a 5% discount, so it incentivizes you to check out any bundles. So this, is, I did actually try this out. And it's really creepy looking and the monsters are scary. But actually the game is so dark, like I can't even see the monsters half the time. And I I tried joining someone's game and I died two times and then I gave up. But uh I would say like yeah, it's uh like a boomer shooter, but it's co op and I think it's like a escape room. You have to fight find keys to unlock the rooms and eventually escape or something, but yeah. Uh I kept on running out of ammo and I tried looking at the minimap to see where my ally is and I couldn't find I had so much trouble finding him and I just died and died and he did revive me once and then the second time I died I was like you know I give up yeah and then there is uh, not a free claim but an upcoming game apparently it's been in development hell like it is supposed to come out 
like 10 years ago or something over 10 years ago captain blood it's a pirate theme action game yeah so uh hack and slash and i think you 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 know not build up an empire but you probably get like a crew and stuff i mean when i looked at the trailer it looked all right there is a demo so you can try it out actually the um if i get it i'll definitely be waiting for that 75 percent off sale or wait for it to be in like a, a bundle or something Yeah, so I've been trying more games lately. I haven't really posted them than on the community tab, but sometimes I do. Because I just want to play the games and have fun, all right? Eventually, maybe I'll make some videos of the games I've tried, but only the really best of the best of the best of the best, all right? So yeah, I think that covers it for this week's free claims, all right? Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.